shoot, shoot. Let's go! Oh, he's <laughs> Good great commando. Hey guys, what is going on? King of Ball here, and today we are back, of course, with some more Modern Warfare 2. If you're new to the channel and it's your first time here, please be sure to subscribe. We post Modern Warfare 2 content every single day, whether it's talking about Modern Warfare 2 remastered, rumors in some way, classic Modern Warfare 2 style, cut com, to simple funnies and fails like the You Pick My Class series we've been doing. But before we get into our game and talk about our topics for today, let me please take a quick second to show off yesterday's comment of the day. If you want to be today's comment of the day in tomorrow's video, all you got to do is make sure you watch the video all the way through, you subscribe, and then post notifications turned on you leave a like and of course drop a comment down below guys thank you so much for the recent support don't forget you still got time to ask questions for the ask king 4k the q a we're doing for our 4k special you can do so in the thank you for 4,000 subscribers video comments on twitter with the hashtag or in the discord section that i have set up for it in our server link in the description below but nonetheless thank you guys for everything of course i say it a ton but i just hope you guys know how appreciative i am of you all and I hope you enjoy the video. Be honest, this was not the map I hoped was hoping for when I... Yeah. Alright, so, the big news that I feel of the last couple days that we gotta talk about, because we've been keeping up all this Modern Warfare 2 Remastered stuff, is that Activision had their quarter one investors call company call i don't know what the official term was but you know it was getting posted all over twitter because people thought there was going to be some details or potential information about modern warfare 2 remastered multiplayer there but unfortunately there was not now i didn't listen to it myself but through asking some friends and some people who listened to the meeting what they said in the meeting was that this year they are releasing call of duty 2020 and two other titles so the big thing there is by them saying they're releasing call of duty 2020 there is no evidence of a delay people have been speculating a lot you know is the game going to get delayed because of everything that's going on and from what i know from what i've heard about this and everything going on no but i'm gonna get to that in a second the big thing that they stated is the other two titles what other two titles are going to be released now while many of us are hoping for the multiplayer remaster i don't see it within these other two titles my personal thought is modern warfare 3 campaign remastered for sure because with everything that was happening when mw2 campaign remaster dropped all the rumors of the campaign trilogy being remastered started to surface and everyone was pretty sure that they ended up signing a deal with sony for an exclusive like exclusivity the 30 days thing for an entire campaign remaster so it would make a lot of sense for them to drop the third one after the second one and all the success that the second one had and they could potentially bundle it with the upcoming game now that would make a much more sense of a bundle i know this isn't an infinity ward game but it's still an activision game you know it's an activision call of duty so it would still make sense if they bundled this somehow within the shop or however they micro transaction this next call of duty because they came out the other day and showed their reports that they've made almost a billion dollars memory serves correct i don't have it up but almost a billion dollars off of this micro transactioning stuff from this current call of duty that is just such an insane number but also before i get into more speculation about what i think is going to drop let me show you this picture from the activision website this is all the games listed from activision currently if you go on their wikipedia and look at every franchise i've ever been involved in it is a ton look at the freaking corner camp uh, this is an mw 2019 this is modern warfare 2 we run around here but when you look at that picture you'll notice it's about half call of duty and half other franchises that they're currently involved in so you figure two out of the three that they're going to release this year is going to be Call of Duty. So one for sure Call of Duty 2020, and it very well could be the Modern Warfare 3 campaign remaster, or it could be Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, a Spec Ops remaster. Now, if you watched the last video where I talked about, you know, updates on the data mining and all that, by the way, if you're interested in any of these data mining links, I keep showing it all takes place in the MW2 OG COD Discord server link in the description below. But I showed that there is definitely evidence for some multiplayer code in the Modern Warfare 2 campaign remastered files, but all arrows point that it's just leftover code from the Modern Warfare remastered engine they built the game on. But one interesting thing that was found in this data mining files was the term spec ops and stuff about a spec ops mission i believe there was a screenshot that showed the name hidden and that was the one where based off the you know ghillie suit snow captain price the spec ops mission everybody loved there is evidence of a spec ops remaster found in the code so you know is that potentially what is going to be released later this year sadly we haven't found much more in the multiplayer yet but i haven't heard a lot of people talking about the spec ops i know it's kind of obvious why because that's not the thing we want but as this data mining information comes out 
out, it seems like there's a lot of arrows that point towards of a potential Spec Ops remaster. So what do you guys think? What do you guys think these three games that are dropping this year are? COD 2020 for sure. Is it going to be Spec Ops or is it going to be the Modern Warfare 3 campaign remaster? Another disgusting rumor I heard is that they're going to remaster the Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer whenever this Modern Warfare 3 drops. And just imagine if you guys OG COD 4 remastered multiplayer and MW3 remastered multiplayer, but they don't remaster MW2. Like, in a way, I feel that would almost be, like, the ultimate FU. But do you guys think, like, a Spec Ops remaster would be fun? You know, it would probably be another short thing. I'm sure they would bundle it with their microtransactions like they did for this one, like I was just talking about. It would be cool and all, you know, maybe I'd buy it. I think it would definitely be fun to play it with some friends, but it's not the multiplayer. And the multiplayer is just a thing we all want, and, like, at this point, we need. I really thought that was a person. But like all other things, we're just gonna have to wait and find out what happens. Hopefully some multiplayer spec ops would be cool, but, but come on, man, multiplayer, please. Kobe. And to circle back around to what I was talking about, Call of Duty 2020, now based on what they said, I know a lot of people have been, you know, speculating and saying like, hey, Call of Duty 2020 is going to get delayed. They're going to put Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer out in its place. And while that's definitely a good theory, with these guys coming out and saying they're releasing Call of Duty 2020, now I know they haven't given a name yet. I know they haven't given a reveal. Is there a 0.0001% chance they're going to come out and shock the world and say Call of Duty 2020 is going to be the Remastered Multiplayer because Call of Duty 2021 is going to have to be COD Vietnam or whatever they have planned? Yes. But most likely, let's be real, no. Call of Duty Vietnam is most likely going to come out in October or November this year. I wouldn't be surprised if they push it back to the November release like they used to do just because everything going on. You know, I mean, they could buy that extra month for themselves like freely and not have to worry about any backlash or anything from the community, especially with not only them showing their figures from the microtransactions, but Modern Warfare with Warzone because of Warzone has recently become the most played Call of Duty ever. So Call of Duty definitely has to be feeling good about that right now. I hope, I'm really, I'm really guessing they're not going to release another BR it made a lot of sense to follow up blackout because blackout wasn't too good it was their first time jumping into that but now it's like warzone is arguably the number one game out right now i would not be surprised if they just continued to update that for another year or even two but that's good you know let that studio focus on that and let treyarch when this is game is out focus on updating the multiplayer because i know a lot of people are pushing toward that br scene nowadays but there's a lot of us core call of duty fans you know that got into the game 2007 8 9 10 ish when it was the hottest thing back then and we just love a good multiplayer experience you know i'm personally not a big br fan i'm br'd out from h1z1 to PUBG to fortnite i think the fall of fortnite and playing it during those times and just kind of falling out of love with it like that was just it for me you know when blackout came out i can honestly say i had no interest in it from the start and personally i still haven't tried warzone i know a lot of you guys kind of want me to and i'm going to eventually i most definitely am going to make my first time playing a warzone video eventually maybe we'll stream it maybe we'll do some warzone with subs one day but i don't know every time i talk about it i just always cycle back around to how much fun i'm having on modern warfare 2 currently but one good piece of news i can give and again rumors that i'm hearing just through twitter and a bunch of other places about cod 2020 and the reason it's not being delayed is because so for this what i'm about to say to make sense i just got to go back and backtrack a little bit when the game first was announced and was kind of you know getting hyped just all the teasers and all the first initial rumors were coming out probably a year or so ago everyone was saying this was going to be a black ops reboot like modern warfare is rebooted this year Come to find out it's not going to be a Black Ops reboot, but instead a game that takes place in the Black Ops universe, you know, same time period, just focusing on a different war. But it sounds like it's going to have a lot of Black Ops mechanics because I've heard to make up for all the lost time that they're going to be copying and pasting a lot of things from Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 over to this game. Now that is very good. A boots on the ground style Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2 game makes me super happy. Like I always say, my big thing, map design. Please just get the map design right, and we're going to have such a fun game this year. Like, I'm just so excited just hearing about all this stuff, because imagine a Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2 feel game in the current year, you know? we This is something that we've been dreaming of. But I think it's going to wrap it up for me today, guys. Thank you guys so much for listening. Please make sure to leave a like. If you're new, be sure to subscribe. We're posting Modern Warfare 2 every single day. We're streaming most days as well all on this platform right here. If you use any social media, it's Twitter, Instagram, Discord, Snapchat. Links are all in the description below. And other than that, make sure you guys please stay safe. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Thank you.